Hey everybody, welcome to Agape Avenue. Stay tuned for a special segment of Mumford's Muffins. I see them kids, Agape Avenue. We're happy to spend this time with you. I see them kids, such a wonderful day. To learn what the Bible has to say. I'm glad to see all my friends. And to know that Jesus' love won't end I see him kids, we're glad you can stay Today's going to be a very awesome day Hey everybody, welcome back to Mumford's Muffins Now today, I wanted to talk to you about something so important As you can see, I have everything here that I need to make a cake. But what good is it if I have all the ingredients if I don't follow the recipe? That reminds me of our verse, 2 Peter 1, 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Now, we have the ingredients. God has given us everything we need. But if we don't have our knowledge of him, what good is it? It's the same thing as me having all these ingredients, but not following the recipe. God can give us everything we need, but if we don't follow his word, or if we don't know about him, what good is it gonna do? So remember that today. Our knowledge is so important of who God is. We'll see you later on Mumford's Muffins. Bye!
I kind of need your help. With what? What's well, wrong? It's because here's the thing. Pastor Jeff told me, right, that he, he needs my help teaching uh -huh. the verse, right? Okay, right. Yeah. And I wanted to come and talk to you guys again so you can tell me how it is in Spanish. And maybe you can explain it a little bit to me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Read it to her. Read it to her. Alrighty. Okay, so this is Segunda de Pedro 1.3. Su divino poder, al darnos el conocimiento de aquel que nos llamó por su propia gloria y excelencia, nos ha concedido todas las cosas que necesitamos para vivir con devoción. Wow, you're like a pro. <laughs> Thank How you. How you do that? I don't know. Practice. Wow, you're, that's true. Practice makes perfect. So you said something about divino poder. Did I say that right? Yes. yes. Ooh, that means that means something power, right? What does yeah. it mean? So basically, it's just saying that God is very, very powerful. <gasps> so he has like lots of muscles. Well, oh, is it like nothing is gonna stop God? Like that kind exactly, of power? Exactly. Oh, exactly. Oh, that. that's cool. Yeah. And then one of the parts that I like from this verse is it says, "Nos ha concedido todas las cosas que necesitamos para vivir." Con devoción. In other words, he gives us everything we need. So he's, we don't have to worry. He's so amazing. He yeah. is. You know what? This actually really helped me a lot. I'm going to go and talk to Pastor Jeff so I can make sure I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Well, I've got some pliers. i got wire cutters. i got screwdrivers. I have everything I need here in my tool belt. I am ready to get some. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I am getting my tool belt ready. I've got some work to do. I'm gonna be fixing some lights here on our set. And I like to put everything that I need in a tool belt. Hi, Papa Jeff. Well, hello, wonderful Winnie. What's your guys there? I have my tool belt. Oh. Yeah, and what I do is I take and I put all the tools I need for a specific job. I put it in my tool belt so oh. I can get some work done. Okay. 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 Now, um, I am, as you know, a superhero. Uh, yes, you are. Here on Agape Avenue, you are the superhero. That's right. Yes. Now, I, too, um, have a utility belt of sorts, except it's my favorite penguin purse. So your favorite penguin purse is your utility belt. Yes. Would you like to see it? Sure. Okay. Wow, I'm kind of, let me put this one down. I'd like to see what, uh, oh. Here you go. Oh, can I take it? Yeah. There's, there's a streamer. Oh, it's a very long streamer. It's all the things I need to put okay. on. These are the things you need to, to fight crime. Yep. And let me ask you a question. Yep. Why do you need a... a Pastor Jeff, you have to take it out and like swizzle it. If I take it out... Swizzle it. So beautiful, Pastor Jeff. So beautiful. <laughs> yes, Winnie, it is very pretty. Keep on looking, keep on looking. Oh, keep okay, looking. okay. Oh, uh, well, you have uh, some... That's so if um, a bad guy can hear me coming. I could be like, like, take it, take it. Wonderful Winnie, here I come to save the day. Wonderful Winnie, everything will be okay. Oh, okay, like okay, that. okay. And this is helping you, and this is helping you fight crime. Yep, keep on looking. Okay. Um, well, um. You dropped something. I think I dropped a, oh. Here you go. Yeah, I, I dropped a. A bow is going to help you fight crime? Yeah, it's called an accessory chain in times of need. And you have a bag of Cheetos here. In case I get hungry. In case you get hungry. Okay, Winnie, well, i got to be honest with you. Um, I don't know how these items will help you fight crime. <laughs> don't be a dumb, Pastor Jeff. It all makes perfect sense. It, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. You know what, Winnie? It's kind of funny that we're talking about this right now. It kind of reminds me of our, our new verse. Oh, 2 Peter 1, 3. 2 Peter 1, 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Now, kind of like my tool belt has everything we need, 
These items aren't much help if we don't know how to use them. Oh. See, our Bible verse says he has given us everything we need through our knowledge of him. Oh. Um, I don't know how these things would help you fight crime. As long as you know, that's all that matters. Maybe I should go put things I could actually use. Like a flashlight or something. A flashlight might help you fight crime, help you when things are dark to help you chase the light, I mean yeah. the darkness away. Yeah, yeah, that might help. But here's the real important thing, Wendy. Kind of like we saw Mumford today, how he had all his ingredients, but without the recipe, you can't make a cake. Yeah, you're right. So just because we have everything we need, what's just as important is the knowledge on how to use these things. You're so smart. Well, thank you. God has given us everything we need. Now it's up to us to use that and learn. Yeah. Get the knowledge we need to be the people God wants us to be. Wow. That's some good stuff. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you so much for being with us here on Agape Avenue. We're so happy when you come visit us. Now, before we let you go, there's something very important we'd like to share with you. Yes. We want to give you an opportunity to ask Jesus to come into your life. It's very, very important. And it's not that hard. Now, I'm going to say the prayer in English. Pastor Paula is going to say it in Spanish. If you want to pray in English, you will pray with me. If you want to pray in Spanish, you repeat me. Okay, are you ready? And it goes like this, and it's very simple. We bow our head and we close our eyes, and we say, Dear Jesus, Señor Jesús, Thank you for loving me so much. Gracias por amarme tanto. You died for me. Moriste por mí. And you came back to life for me. Y resucitaste por mí. Come into my life. Ven a mi vida. Please forgive me for all my sin. Perdóname por todos mis pecados. And send me your Holy Spirit. Y mándame tu Espíritu Santo. So that I can live for you. Para yo poder vivir para ti. In Jesus' name. En el nombre de Cristo. Amen. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you just asked Jesus to come into your life. Yes. And we would love to hear what God is doing for you. So please, message us here on Agape Avenue. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Hi, everyone. We are so glad that you are watching our episodes. We love you guys so much. And remember, if you're watching us, please make sure to take a picture or a video and tag us at ICM Kids or ICM Laredo. Also, don't forget to hashtag us at ICM Kids. We will be reposting your videos, pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So if you have any ideas that you would like to see on Agape Avenue, make sure you comment them on our Instagram and Facebook page and we'll be doing them for you. Bye. See you later. Hasta luego. Farewell. We, we love, love you. you.